Oh, this is Sean Higgins. Um, many of you have asked me about my, my company, or how, what I do, how I sell my, my photos, how that works. I have a few, I, well, I have two videos up on YouTube already um, with my, uh, uh, at the time, assistant manager Tara showing our sales booth. I think I'm going to put a clip of that here. Hi, I'm Tara, here at SGH Photo. Sean will bring the photos that he's taken from the courts to me, and here I upload them onto the computer, and I sort them by team. If a parent or a team member wants to buy them, I will either upload them by CD, by DVD, or by a flash drive. Okay, thank you, Tara. And again, this is how our setup is. It's um, it's pretty simple, but we this is a fact. Now, after you've seen that clip, I'm also going to show you some photos of some of my employees making sales. That will be here. Okay, after you've seen that, uh, those photos, here are some photos of some of the volleyball girls especially um, looking at the photos at our booth. Now we do more than volleyball, but the volleyball, with, this, with, with these particular volleyball teams, I have permission to use these photos in advertising, so I actually posed them. Well, I didn't pose them really. I asked, I asked their parents if I could take some candid shots of them at the booth, enjoying the photos at the booth, and so that will be here. Okay, now what happens is this, the kids will usually come, they'll look at their photos, and then they'll, and then they'll go back, they'll play some more games, they'll come back and look, and, um, the, the, and they'll let their parents know, and their parents will come and look, then they'll beg their parents to buy photos, and that's how we make our sales. So we sell on site um, at volleyball tournaments. I used to do horse shows. I stopped doing them simply because the um, I, I only did it at one facility, and that facility went bankrupt, so they don't have horse shows anymore. And if I can get another horse show facility at some point, I might do horse shows again. But we would sell one-sided horse shows. We would sell one-sided volleyball tournaments. We would we will sell one-sided dance competitions. Now, not every single event that we shoot is on-site sales. Sometimes we'll get we'll we'll get hired to do, let's say, a club team, a volleyball team, and we we've already been paid to shoot their team. So we'll go there and we'll shoot the whole team. I mean, every game the team played, and then give them the photos on a flash drive or something. Now, um, with those kinds of things, the labor is a little bit less for me because I don't have to bring someone else with me to shoot, unless. We get hired by multiple teams and I'll have to bring more people. But with the on-site sales, I bring people. So um, again, it's a bit of a gamble uh, because I start off these, these tournaments, these volleyball tournaments where we do the on-site sales, I start off hundreds if not over a thousand dollars in the hole because I have to pay a vendor fee. That, that's how we actually get a chance to, um, to photograph these events. Uh, my company, SJH Photo, um, we will pay, well, I will pay a vendor fee, and that will let, um, that, that, that gives me the permission to be the exclusive photographer selling photos at the event. Now, sometimes there might be a club team who hires a photographer. You know, I'm not going to go after people who are making money who are already hired, but no one can come in and try to sell photos there on all, there themselves. If they give out cards or do anything like that, then that's a no-no according to my contract. But anyway, I pay a vendor fee to do that. I pay my employees to be there. I have to pay them regardless, obviously. It's like any job. It doesn't matter what you're working for. If you're working for McDonald's, if you're working for a construction company, you know, if you go there, if you're getting paid by the hour, you're getting paid by, by the day or however your contract works, if you go there and you do your job, even if you go to McDonald's and McDonald's is, they have no sales at all, eventually they'll close down, but the days that you work, you have to get paid for. So I, I pay my crew, which I don't mind doing. Um, I, I pay to transport the transport to get there. At the dance competitions and some of the events we do, the competition pays for my hotel, but a lot of times I have to pay for the hotel. So if it's a multiple day tournament, for instance, a volleyball, I will pay the hotel. Um, you know, whatever miscellaneous um, expenses I, I, I pay for, 
I pay for food. I usually um, uh, provide the food for my crew. Um, usually just sandwiches and stuff like that. Then um, sometimes as an incentive, we will do something afterward if the sales are good. So uh, speaking about incentives, so I have several with them. Um, I pay a flat fee to my crew, but if we reach our sales goal, then they make a commission after the sales goal. So there, it's in their interest to make the sales goal. Um, I pay for, I mean, I pay them that. I, I will give them some different things like I'll take them out to eat at a reasonably good restaurant. Um, you know, uh, I'll do that at the end of a good at a, of a good tournament. Uh, sometimes we do different different things. I I we I have kind of a company meeting once a year where I usually give out bonuses. We go over different things that we um that. Need, need to be addressed, good and bad. Uh, and Well, in fact, good, usually. I mean, if there's anything bad that needs to be addressed, I would do that individually w with my people. If it's something on the whole that we all need to work on, I will mention that at the company meeting. So that's kind of how I run my business. I know some people have asked me about that, so here's a video talking about it. Thank you for your time. At the end of this video, I'm going to include some um, photos from some of those events, from volleyball, from dance competitions, and from horse shows, so you can see the kind of photos that that, that, that we take at these events and what sells. I'm only going to post photos that we've actually sold. That way you, you can see what people like. They're not all actually action shots. They, you'll notice that too. A lot of them are because that's what people want, but kids um, and the parents want shots of, their, of, of them um, having fun, you know, the whole atmosphere of the, of the day. So it doesn't have to just be action shots. You know, it could be the huddle shots, the, um, the pregame lineups, the, just the candid shots of them fooling around with, with their teammates, anything like that the parents were going to buy, we will sell. I say parents at the horse shows, they're all ages, but I will tell you again, um, the vast majority of our sales are young girls. Uh, I don't do boys volleyball tournaments anymore because our sales are horrible at them. The girls buy a lot more than the boys. At the at the dance competitions, they're boys and girls, but they're mostly girls. There's a few boys. The parents might 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 buy something there, but again, there's overwhelmingly so many more girls. It's hard to tell. At the horse shows, though, we I actually did a survey of all of this. We we broke it down. They're all ages, um, male and female, and I think I don't remember the exact numbers of my head, but I want to say like 70% or so were girls under 15 who, um, those are the writers who, who bought photos. You, the parents are the ones that spend the money. But my point though is that the boys hardly buy anything. The adults, even the 16 and up, they don't usually buy much, but the young girls do. So I try to shoot what I can make money on. So that's why I, that's what I focus on. Uh, so again, it's good to have your your niche of what you're going to be doing as a photographer. You might not be doing volleyball, you might be doing football, golf, whatever. But you know, try to make sure that whatever you're you're doing, you're you're making enough money to support yourself. I'm not getting rich off this, but again, I'm making enough money to earn a living and support myself. Thank you again. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. And I appreciate you guys asking me to do this video. If there's anything else you want to know or you want to see, please let me know. And like I said, please stick, stick to the end so you can see the photos. Thank you and have a nice day.